Guys, I've been shooting. Oh Christ, look at the mess. Oh my God. I'm like mega rushed right now, so I'm just going straight out to Snappy Snaps. And, um, sorry, my mum's texting me. That's something quite exciting, actually. Uh, Luigi, my uncle Luigi, gave me a signet ring, which I was adamant. Mum was like, Luigi's given you one before. I was like, no, he never has. And she's just texted me it like, this is the ring. I was like, okay, no at all. It's very nice, and I'm glad I have it. Anyway, just going straight to Snappy Snaps to develop all the film I've just been shooting. Um, and I'm slightly hungover. Lindsay launched her jewellery line with a brand called Roxanne First last night, and we had an amazing dinner and drank a bit too much. I'm feeling a bit delicate today. I've got one of the earrings in, so I'm going to go in the good light in a second and show you so you guys can see. But she's done a ring, a necklace, and an earring. She gives me the earring, and I'm going to order the necklace. It's beautiful. It's all like floating diamonds, gold chain things. Stunning. So a bit worse for wear, so I'm just going to go for a walk to Snappy Snaps. My outfit is one of a hungover person. I've got my very scruffy, gross, superga trainers. Some, I nearly flashed in my boob then. Um, some Levi's, these are the nasty girl ones. This amazing jumper from Under the Stories, which everyone needs to go out and buy immediately. It's so good, it looks super expensive. This bag, which is new from a brand called, I'm going to say it wrong, Elemi, Elen. I'll link it. Um, it's like shearling. You can't really see. We'll go to the fancy light and show you. Let's go by the window. Oh, there you can see. Is that te oh, more mess here. There's that good stuff, that good stuff texture. Focus, focus. Oh, yeah. And then while we're in the fancy light, just before we go, it's this. Oh, I've not got the best jump on to show you. This top one that's dangling down. So let me just separate it. It's got caught up in the one beneath it a little bit. It is the chain that's on the top one. So the one beneath it is my Maria Tash one I wear all the time. And then it's this just dangly chain. It's so pretty. So, so, so pretty. So I'm ever so proud of her because the collection's gorgeous. Um, and I'm excited to be able to wear something that my best mate designed every single day. It's pretty nice, that, isn't it? So off we go to be hungover on Portobello Road at Snappy Snaps instead. Um, and then I've got to come back, fly through some work, go to the gym. Fly through some more work tonight. I'm so close to the end of Narcos. I'm desperate to watch it, but I just don't think I've got time today. Um, because then tomorrow I'm going back up north. Mum and I are going to see Leon Bridges, which I'm so excited about. Um, but I need to stop talking and I need to crack on, so bye. I'm going to see Leon Bridges and am I lovely company today or am I lovely company today? <laughs> Why? This is so funny, you dragged me all the way to Leeds in rush hour, all the way back home. Oh no. And I'm going all the way back to Leeds again, at least it's not rush hour, but... Oh. I'm going to see Leon Bridges but I might die of stress on the way. <laughs> I won't then. <laughs> Having a really stressful day, guys. But I'm excited to see Leon Bridges. Um, oh god, it's cold. 
not that cold in London, but if she hears me say something like that, she's like, oh, you've turned into such a London snob. So I can't say anything bad about the North. It's not bad, I'm just observing. It's a lot colder here, which is true. Hello. Do you do the I do, yes. <laughs> It's Friday morning, it's currently 10 to 9 and we're just about to set off back to the Leeds train station so I can get the train back to London um, and then working all afternoon and I'm going away tomorrow, I'm going to the Caribbean tomorrow with Lindsay which is obviously incredibly exciting and I cannot wait but you know when you're so unprepared for a trip that it feels like you're not taking it because I just haven't prepared in any way and then we leave our flights at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning so I need to sort for that this afternoon so that's what we're going to do today guys um and I need to film testing basics for cashmere jumpers I had a disaster because I left one of them in Amsterdam which is so annoying and I'd filmed all of the like a bit when I was wearing it um, and it's been washed but I just don't have it for the talking bits I'm gonna go and buy it again today <laughs> keep the tag on it so I have it for the talking bit at the beginning and because I haven't filmed the try on section like the cutaway so I have to do that and then send, take it back afterwards <laughs> and then have it returned to me soon from when I left it in Amsterdam which is so annoying I can't believe I left it anyway it will all get sorted so that is the plan for today I'm just super super stressed out at the moment um, I had a bit of a work disaster yesterday which is we'll all be fine it's just was that came at a time when I was a bit stressed anyway um but I'll work it all out and it's making me even more excited to go away and just have a proper chill time and it won't take me long to pack and so everything will easily easily get sorted tonight which is good I'm trying to think what else I've got to update you guys on I'm really worried that this vlog has been dreadful um I'm really excited to get this testing basics ready with cashmere and stuff and um and then this vlog, this vlog oh, I want to do some more fashion content. Oh, I've got some new boots I really want to show you when I get home. Hey guys, I'm back in London, waiting for my Uber back home. Um, still feeling mega stressed, and I don't want this to come across as like being a Debbie Downer. Oh, pigeon, what a flying pigeon. Um, we're just like sharing what life is like sometimes. My Uber is five minutes away, he's been five minutes away for the past five minutes. <laughs> but once I'm home and then just gonna crack on I think I'll feel better as soon as I've started getting things done and the Wi-Fi wasn't working on the train again it never does um, anyway sorry for being a bit like oh, just feeling a bit like oh. so I thought I'd share it with you because I imagine actually a lot of you often have days and weeks where you feel a bit like oh, god I'm back home looking a bit like I've been driving through a hedge backwards. Also just had an exciting parcel arrive from Mulberry, which I thought I would open in front of you guys. I actually do know what it is because they emailed me about it. It is their new bag, which they have sent me. And I can't remember the name of it because I am useless. But I'll link it in the description box, of course. It's like a little bucket bag almost. Very backlit here. I'm gonna move so you can see properly in a second. Um, and it's got the shoulder strap. Let's do this. Let's sell a tape, just impossible to rip through. Anyway, it's got the shoulder strap and a little top handle. I'll show you properly. There you go. What a difference that made. So it's this burgundy with the little drawstring and the um gold hoop on it and I will wear mine crossbody and it looks like it will fit a really de decent amount in let me just oi, oh Christ I'm so stiff from the gym just pop you down on, on one of the chairs and just want to see how much it draws strings closed because that is a practical point when you're on the tube in London someone can't dip their hand into things oh yeah quite nicely quite nicely shut you, you know, you'd have to really try get in there. I really like that. It comes in loads of different colours, so you can see out for the burgundy one. Also, while I've got you at this high, I've done a blog post in collaboration with my Teresa, and I got to pick out some things with the voucher, and I picked these Todd boots. 
Todd's boots. I just had to mention them to you because they are amazing. I've literally just walked, you know, probably just walked for an hour in total then. And they are so comfortable. But the little wooden bit here, and they're quite sort of rounded, but very clumpy and just, they feel, I mean, I know they're very similar style to my church's ones, but they feel a lot clumpier and look a lot heavier on the foot, which I quite like. Um, and the nice thick rubber sole and everything. They're just so comfortable, I'm so, so pleased with them. So, and they've just got a little tab at the back here that says Todd's on it. You can expect to see these, look at this pose. You can expect to see these quite a bit throughout the winter months, I think, because they're very comfortable, like I just said. Ah. So I went and got parcels. There's gonna be, I'm very disappointed to announce, a delay in testing basics, which is so annoying. So basically, I left one of the jumpers, typically the most expensive jumper in Amsterdam. I've reordered it and it's coming tonight between six and seven from Matches, just so that I have it, because I feel like I said earlier, I filmed, I filmed the day when I'm wearing it and I've washed that jumper that's in Amsterdam, but I need it to, to hold up and, and do the cutaways with, because I haven't filmed that bit yet. So that's come between six and seven. That was the earliest delivery they could do. And it's from Ray. And the Ray shop in Notting Hill doesn't accept returns. Well, they do accept returns, but only for a credit note. But if you order it online, you get a refund. And obviously, I need a refund from it. So I'm just so annoyed at myself. So there's going to be a delay in testing basics because I can't finish it today because I can't film the beginning bits. Oh, who is down to text me? Um, oh, Lauren. Um, yeah, because I can't, I basically just need this jumper to finish it. So, um, and it'll be dark by then. And I'm also just not gonna have time because I'm packing to go away tomorrow. So I'm so, so, so sorry, guys. The only, the only silver lining to this is that it means that all of the jumpers that I've been testing have been worn so, so, so much. I actually have a really strong review of them all. So I'm hoping that this, now I get back from this trip on Thursday. So I'm gonna film, finish it Thursday, Friday and have it up on Sunday. But I know I've been talking about this testing base, it's for ages and it's taken me forever. And I've just added another week onto it by being an idiot. But I hope you don't mind. And that jumper, like I said, will come tonight. And I've actually got one of the other ones on right now. And um, this one is the Marks and Spencers one. So it is all, it's all getting there just slowly but surely. Um, and now what I need to do is plan what I want to pack. It's like 30 degrees where we're going, so it's pretty hot. So I need to plan and organise myself and just get myself into gear really. But I've sat down now and I really don't want to get back up again. Um, and I'm also due on my period and all I want to do is eat chocolate and like I walked past a McDonald's today and was tempted. I haven't had a McDonald's in over a year and I walked past and was like, oh my god, I could absolutely go wild on some chicken nuggets. I didn't, but I never crave stuff like that. Time of the month, isn't it? Ugh. Hey guys, I'm just in the kitchen. It's like half seven now and I have bath. I, have, I, oh. I had a bath to try and make myself chill out a little bit because I honestly feel like my heart's about to come out of my chest. <laughs> the, I'm, um, oh, I'm so stressed out. It's ridiculous. And I'm so sorry that this vlog is like this. And I have like feel like I've started it now and I really want to finish it and loads of other content plans I've got to shit. I just want to get something up and I haven't been doing good content anyway. We, well, I'm really enjoying vlogging and I've been vlogging so much because I that's like the main thing I watch from other people, vlogs. And I know I need to do more fashion content I haven't got any ideas and I ever just feel like I'm not... I literally... Oh my God, I feel like I'm at a brick wall is how I feel and something just having such a stress for something work-wise. It's absolutely, it's literally tipped me on my head is how it's made me feel like. Um, and oh, and then, so I was feeling stressed out about work and I was like stressed about Instagram and stupid shit. So I ordered myself some food off delivery and was like, oh, I'll just leave my um, phone in the other room while I eat my dinner and watch something on YouTube and just try and chill. Um, and I pay, ordered that jumper up that I was talking about earlier off Matches, who are normally brilliant, and you can pay for like an hour slot if you live in central London, you can get 90 minutes delivery, it's so good. Anyway, the guy didn't ring the buzzer, so I went and checked my phone again, and I had a missed call from Matches, being like, the guy's outside now, he'll wait for five more minutes, and then he has to go, um, because no one's answering the door. 
and he'd gone and I was like oh my god nobody's even rung the buzzer so I haven't even got that jumper after all of that and I'm sat in and the delivery's not happened you know when you're just like this is just and it's just typical of the world and I really hope when there's something that's so frustrating sometimes about um oh I don't I don't know how to put this into words my head isn't really clear enough right now um, I don't want you guys to, to think that I'm being really whingy or moany about stuff and I, whenever I'm having these moments the reason I want to sort of I'll try and articulate them and share them with you is because you I know I know who my audience is like they're working women and everything so I know so many of you will be like oh my god I so have those work days as well where things stack up and go wrong and you're just so stressed out and part of my work is to share this in this way and like I said I've started this vlog so I kind of wanted to just crack on with it but I just want it I just hope I'm not coming across as whingy I'm not my meaning self like Debbie Downer and I I'm so thankful that I'm going away tomorrow the timing of it could not be more perfect after having such a stressful day today so I'm so excited for that and I'm almost all packed and everything I'm just gonna make myself a tit and then the other amazing good news in this day is that Narcos and two episodes off the end of season three click on Netflix today Narcos season four Mexico's out can't believe my luck let's just leave leave this room while the kettle boils because it gets noisy cannot believe my luck so I've got Narcos season four now so that's a major silver lining and I've just downloaded loads of it for the flight tomorrow just walking around the tea bag flight tomorrow because I it's an 11 hour flight um by the way spotty 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 i think it's hormones and maybe just a reflection of me at the moment just feeling a little bit frantic um so yeah buzzing about narcos season four and i'm just gonna make myself a cup of tea do the last bits of my packing and just sit and breathe for a second do you ever have days where you are really stressed you actually don't feel like you breathe through the day i know that sounds really dramatic because of course you breathe but it's like suddenly you take a really deep breath and you go oh god i don't think i've drawn breath in the past half hour like you're just holding your breath the whole time that's been one of those um and i'm really yeah oh god stop whinging do you know who i wanted to, whose praises i wanted to sing for a second um helen anderson's i just was watching her vlog when i was sat at my dinner and missed my parcel and thankfully she was completely worth missing my parcel for um i don't know if you guys watch her vlogs i'm sure a lot of you do but if you don't please go and watch them because she's like she's incredible the amount that she does in a day the pressure she puts on herself to get so much done which isn't necessarily a good thing but i find it so admirable like how seriously she takes her job how seriously she takes youtube how good she is at it and her style is not a bit of me and like we have such different styles i also don't know her personally i'd love to meet her but i don't i just watch her as a viewer i don't watch her as a friend or anything um but her style is, is we've not got the same style not got the same taste in so many things so i'm just so inspired by her as a businesswoman basically and how hard she works comes across so 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 much and i'm really really into watching her vlogs all the time and some of you guys leave comments on mine saying that when you watch me be productive it makes you want to be productive and that's the effect that helen's vlogs have on me i um, absolutely love her so if you've not been watching her stuff she's daily vlogging at the moment which is incredible do go and watch them i can't recommend it enough so that's what I watched, had a bit of time, a bit of time with Helen, and that made me feel like whew, a little bit better. Um, and like I say, I'm sure so many of you go through days like this where you just feel so ridiculously stressed out, and like you can't, it's like when I'm like this, it's like I can't rationally deal and manage with the small little bits. Like a parcel not coming really is something that which happens to me a lot. Like I have deliveries every single day and I miss a lot of them because I'm not here all the time. And normally I'm like, it's fine, whatever. I'll, you know, I'll go out and walk and get it. It doesn't matter. But when you're really stressed and then that happens, you're like, oh my God, I give up. I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to become a nun. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to just get some peace. And then tomorrow will be fine. And I'll stop being dramatic about it. And hopefully these spots will go. They're, they literally look like drawn on spots because they're really round and really really red right the kettle's boiled i'm gonna stop yak yakking away i think i'm gonna put this vlog together and put it up anyway because for some reason you guys often comment like oh we just like sitting and catching up with you because it's like catching up with a friend this right now is catching up with a really shit friend who lindsay's got to deal with tomorrow morning from 6 30 for 10 to 11 hours i texted her like i've got a lot i need to talk about and vocalize i'm really stressed and when you have 11 hours of that she was like oh 
lucky me, joyous times for me.